So, when it comes to buying a car, you want to ask yourself two questions. Number one, do you want a car that you have to make payments on, or do you want a car that's already paid off, and all you got to do is worry about the insurance? So, hey, little Jonah family, it's your boy, little Jonah here. We're back with another video. How we do, how we D, y'all. How we doing today, guys? So... I got an educational video. Excuse me. As you can tell by the title. If you can't tell by the title, I suggest you look it up. This title is called Should I Should You Buy a Car That's Paid Off or Get a Car with Payments Still On? So make sure I hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing more of these videos. So when it comes to buying a car, what you have to do is is it paid off or do I have to make payments on it? Still, 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 still. Now, when you buy a car with payments on it, you are responsible for the payment. No matter you buy it from a owner, the dealership. Now, when you buy a car from the dealership, you can lease it, finance it, get a loan, whatever. But, I'm gonna warn you, if you got the money and you are rich, rich, and a rich, 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 and a rich, 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 well, then I suggest you get more money and start making those payments. Because if you miss one payment, and I'm going to say this once, now, I'm only going to say this once, if you miss one payment on your car, or even two payments, or even more than number three payments, mom, even if you miss, miss 75 payments, they will repo your car. And what does repo your car mean? They will take your car away, they will tow it off your driveway, they will take the stinking, and, and you'll be flipping out, bro, you'll be freaking out. They will take your car away. And then it's going to be harder to get another freaking vehicle. But if you get a car that's paid off, you will only have to pay the insurance. Now, how much is insurance? Well... Little John, how much is insurance, bruh? Hey, bruh, if you have a sports car, expect it to be over $100, dollar, dollar, dollar. If you got a Chevy Camaro, expect it to be over $100. Now, insurance can depend on if you don't have any accidents, tickets, or violations. Yes, sir. So, basically, you know... Basically, we'll talk about that in another video. But, what would I do if I was in a situation? Obviously, as my dad always told me, I don't believe in making payments on a car. Get a car that's already paid off, so you don't have to worry about it getting repoed. If you don't pay your insurance, then of course it'll raise it and go up and triple the price. But, you've got to make sure, if you are the high-class, luxurious... Well, then you better be making those god dang mother flipping payments. Because payments, could you could loan it, go to the bank, whatever. It takes a few years for the car to get paid off. Like maybe a Tesla. Maybe you buy a, an electric car and, you know, you're trying to get it paid off. But it takes you 27 years or 14 years. Once it's paid off, you ain't got to worry. I got to worry about the mother flipping insurance. But you don't pay the payments. They come in for you and the car. And the car going to be repoed and repossessed to someone who can take responsibility. But if you got insurance and you only want to pay, then we will talk about liability and full coverage in another video. So my suggestion is get a car that's paid off. So you don't gotta be stuck in that stress. If you make, if you are really rich and wealthy with the money, then you can have a car that you have to have payments on. Because everybody likes luxurious. Everybody loves to drive in the whip, Bugatti, Lamborghini. Everybody loves to drive those Bugatti stick shift and the Tesla electric cars. Electric. It's electrify, you know. The car don't take gas. It's electric, but. Back on topic, mind blown. If you get a car that's paid off, 
and you only got insurance, you better have the insurance money. But that's going to be it for the video. My suggestion to you guys, get a car that's paid off if you're struggling like me. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk about you in the next video.